cancer is a disease that kills more people every year than cervical and breast cancer combined. Ben Spindle tonight with a local survivor story. This is Brian and Nicole Rimsa. They're a young, active couple. They love the outdoors. They're parents to two kids. But their life stopped in its tracks when Nicole was diagnosed earlier this year with stomach cancer. And it took day, days, weeks. I don't even know if I'm still, you know, if I still comprehend it all the way. Um, I was diagnosed March 20th. As with most cancer patients, Nicole was in for the fight of her life. She underwent aggressive chemotherapy almost immediately. Losing her hair was a big change. I'm able to grow it back with these next few regimens, which is kind of nice to make me feel a little bit more like a girl again, which is a good thing. But she also lost her stomach, which had to be completely removed as part of the process. A huge change. No, we uh, didn't know what to eat, didn't know what I can and can't eat to get down. Um, I'm almost to where I can eat just about everything, except for, I, you know, I don't have any dairy, um, cut out sugar. Nicole realized after her diagnosis that stomach cancer research doesn't receive nearly enough attention or funding, so she helped organize a walk on November 3rd. She wants that blue ribbon to stand out and to stand for something important. When somebody wears a pink ribbon, there's no question it's to benefit breast cancer research, but not so much with periwinkle. That shade of blue is actually the color of stomach cancer awareness. It kills more people than almost any other cancer. So the folks behind this movement hope that the periwinkle gets as much push as its pink counterpart. I would hope that someday that we can donate for all cancers instead of just one. I think that would be great. It doesn't have to be just one cancer. I just think that, you know, it should be that there's a rainbow ribbon, and that stands for all the cancers. With her husband Brian by her side and her kids' love to lift her spirits, Nicole says she will survive, and she hopes to lead a normal life, one motivated by her desire to educate others and to beat this devastating disease. The biggest thing that has helped me get through all of this has been people, friends, family, I mean, being able to talk to people that have been through it. It's telling my story and getting it out there and, you know, just hope I can save one life. And if you'd like more information on the fight against stomach cancer, we posted a link to the No Stomach Cancer Organization on our website, myfoxphoenix.com. American Idol finalist Scott Matt